Worm Online is a vast and expansive game with a living, breathing, and ever-changing atmosphere, from the day and night cycles to a full seasonal calendar, all the way to its changeable terrain. Worm Online has stood true to its sandbox genre. However, with this comes an incredible learning curve, with the amount of complex details in the game. If you're new on this journey, hopefully these videos will help you during your adventures. Players first logging in, you might think, what do you do first, or what's next? The beauty of Worm is that the choice is completely up to you and there's no rail system to guide you. But before you make a mad dash into the wilderness, let us take a moment to go over some of the basic UI. My UI may currently look a little different than yours, or you might notice there are some things on the UI that aren't on yours. Don't worry, we'll go over that in a moment. First, there's the chat window. The chat tabs you are most likely to see are local, which are the players in your immediate area, CA Help, a channel devoted for soliciting questions from new players and being answered by helpful players, Server Chat, named after the cluster or server you are on and is specific to server-wide, GL Server Chat, every server in the cluster will be able to read your message. Depending on what server you start on, albeit Freedom or the Steam launch, these server names may vary. I also cannot stress enough the importance of the CA Help channel. There are many well-educated worm players out there who will take the time to look there and help you when you need it, so don't be afraid to ask. This lovely green rectangle here is your stamina bar. Anytime you perform actions, your stamina will decrease, but don't worry, standing still will let your bar regenerate. Depending on what your food and water levels are at will make the regeneration of your stamina vary, but we will get to those in just a second. If you take damage, a red bar will grow over your stamina bar, starting from the right, going to the left. If this bar reaches all the way to the left, you will die, so be careful. The two bars below it are your water, blue, and food, green bars respectively. Some people may not have a green bar. This is because the color of the food bar is also telling you how much nutrition you have. The more vivid the green, the better it is, and you'll gain an EXP bonus depending on how high the percentage is. You can check the percentage of nutrition you have by hovering over the food bar. When hovering, you'll notice that some other bars appear. These bars indicate your calories, carbs, fats, and proteins, all things you will get while eating meals, all of which give you important things, but we'll go over it another time. Also, you can click any of these bars to toggle certain additions like FPS and movement speed. The quick bar is located here and contains some very important buttons for activating different features in Worm, which I'll briefly describe now. Climbing, toggles climbing on and off for getting up steep slopes. Faithful, prevents you from doing any actions your god would dislike. Lawful, prevents you from breaking any local laws such as stealing. And yes, stealing is a skill. Stealth, turns you invisible and allows you to move quietly. Auto fight, toggling this would make all your combat either automatic or manual. Sleep bonus, turns on or off your sleep bonus. While sleep bonus is active, you will get double skill for the actions that you perform. Please note that you can only have a maximum of five hours and can only regain sleep bonus from sleeping in a bed. Hip and backpack slot. When pressed, it opens up an inventory window for containers you are wearing in those locations, like a backpack or a quiver. Inventory. We'll open up the inventory window. You can also do this by pressing F3 or I. Skills. Opens the skill list so you can have a nice personal flex. You can also open the skills window with F2. Character. Opens up the character window where you view your, the items that you're wearing and the wounds you might have. Journal. The journal window is full of goals you can work towards in Worm. You will also get rewards on completing each chapter, and I highly advise it is something you work on later in Worm. You can also open the journal with the J key. Crafting. The crafting window is a powerful tool that helps you create items in a much easier manner, simply by placing the two starting items in the top left and top right, and then the list of creatable things will appear in the menu to the right. You can also access the crafting window with the B key. If at any time you are unsure of what the two items you need to create an item are, you can use the crafting list which is bound by the N key, or press H and it will pop up in the in-game Wormpedia search for more info on what you're curious about. Map. Opens up the map in-game for your server. From here you can also navigate to see other servers in your cluster. The map does not tell you where your exact location is. You'll need to use the map and the local topography to pinpoint your location. Settings. Pressing this will make a drop-down menu appear at the top of your screen for the additional changes you can make to the graphics, 
or even setting up your own keybinds. Now that we have settings open, I want to show you something. Click on the tools and scroll down to select more. This is the HUD window. It will show you all of the things on the UI that are active with the white text and everything that's currently disabled with the gray text. As you can see, there is a lot to this, even the UI. But as for now, this was an extremely basic rundown of the most important things to learn from the UI. And remember, Worm is waiting.